Hello my viewers, I want to welcome you to this lesson in Revit. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you on how you can reinforce a slab. So what you are seeing here is a slab which, is been, which, which has been reinforced, you know, on top of it in both directions as you can see from the section there. The slab has been reinforced on top in both directions. If I just go to the 3D view, you see that that is the reinforcement on top of the slab and that is what you are going to do in this lesson. You are going to learn on how you can reinforce the slab. Now, before I proceed, I just want to ask all of you, please don't just watch my videos, subscribe to my channel and also like the videos. That way you motivate me to do more and more tutorials on this channel. So without wasting time, let's get started in this tutorial. So before I proceed, I just want to ask anyone who is interested in learning Revit structure, Revit architecture and robot structure analysis profession. I have three courses. Please make sure that you check the links in the description. I've worked on some real projects where you can learn the three softwares from start to finish. So now let me get started in this tutorial. And the first thing that I'm going to do, of course, I am not going to model this simple frame. I'm just going to delete the reinforcement so that I can model the reinforcement so that you see how to do it. So I've selected everything, then just go to filter, check none, structure riba, apply. Okay. So only the riba has been selected. So guys, that's how you select, you know, the riba at once. Then I'll just click on delete there and you see that all the riba has been deleted if i go to the section there's nothing and that is the level where we want to place our riba okay so you see that we have the floor there now the first thing i want to do is to simply isolate this lab okay so that i can it can be easy for me to place the the riba on top of it so i'll select on it if you want, you can just use HI on your keyboard as a shortcut to isolate the riba. That is a, a shortcut by default. So as long as you, have, you, you haven't changed, you know, the, the shortcuts, just type HI, select what you want to isolate, HI on your keyboard, and you have it isolated like this. Okay, so to place the riba on top of this, just select on the, on the slab. And guys, you see that we have, you know, two options. We have area reinforcement we also have riba if you select any uh, concrete element you are going to have these tools and from the previous video i've just you know it's linked up there on the card above i explained on how you can you know i taught on how to place the riba using the area reinforcement so if you want to know on how to use this to the air reinforcement please make sure that you check the card above okay you're going to learn how to do that in this lesson i just want to use this command called the riba so uh, with this one we're also going to select another option which is called riba by two points okay that's the one we are going to use and for you to use this one make sure that you are using revit 2022 and you know the the, the, the latest versions that is the 2023 as of you know the time i'm recording this video okay of course in future you know future updates it will be there so if i just select on riba make sure that you click on okay once you do that you see that you have under the properties depending on the on the on the template that you are using this is the template and i'm just going to use 16m and under the riba shape browser i just want to pick the riba that i want to use i'll use the first one here just select on it so i've selected 16m and that is the the the, the riba shape then what you need to do go up there and make sure that you pick by two points as i've mentioned this is the option that i want to use to you know to reinforce this lab this option is quite useful and you will find it useful even in other in other you know situations where you need to create riba for different you know elements so this is the slab select by two points then i want to place the riba on top of the slab okay so i'll pick near cover reference okay that is one thing so make sure that you pick this one near cover reference then go to the last two options we have horizontal and vertical i'll start with the horizontal 
okay so you see that i need to select two points as the name here is by two points so i want to pick by cover i want to snap it there and you see that that is the horizontal riba as you can see guys it's quite easy to place riba in this way then i can even snap somewhere there i've placed the riba in that direction so the goodness with this one is that of course the area reinforcement you are able to place just change the properties but this one will help you place the riba where you want it to be for example if you just want to place you know like uh, additional riba on top of the slab this is the tool that you are going to use it's quite useful okay so i've placed my riba there then i'll also pick you know that is the cover i just want to pick from that point and i want to make sure that i snap there because i want it to end straight there so okay somewhere there and go down and make sure that i pick the cover there so i have that river actually for this one sorry i just need to extend it all the way through but even if i've placed it like that i'm just able to drag it as you can see until it snaps to the cover just there as you can see it's even snapping okay so this one's supposed to extend again it depends on on the stock length for a rib i'm just assuming that this one is less than 12 meters because in my region the stock length for the river is you know 12 meters so i'm assuming that is less than 12 so i just want to snap it there okay even this one select on it you know drag it and i want it to snap by the cover there okay so just drag it as you can see it's snapping so i should have picked the point at the end but it's okay you can simply drag it and snap it there is it snapping let me just drag it and snap it right there okay so i'll continue select right click create similar make sure that that one and this one selected by two points so okay for this one now it has to start from here okay i'll start it from the center and drag it all the way up to there again pick the center just like that now what i need to do is to hide the last two rivers because it will be you know overlapping there i don't want so just use that small uh, check mark there and check it then you have excluded the last river even this one and check it you exclude the last river by doing that i can go ahead and do the same on this one but i want to show you different methods you can even select on that then click on copy you are able to pick it from there if you want okay all right can i do that yeah i can do or if i want i can even mirror it from the center just pick that and i just want to mirror it from the center just two points click first point second point so i've mirrored the riba now it's just a matter of adjusting this one here and make sure that it's snapping somewhere there you see that we have the riba as you can see so let me first of all cut the section before i place riba in the other direction so go to view section and click one point and the other point let me just okay double click there see that i have the river on top so it's okay actually i even have that section it's already there see that we have the river on top there in one direction so i'll go back there and simply select the slab i want to place river now change I click on river by two points and i want to pick vertical okay here this is where now i have to pick from that point and that is vertical so obviously do not extend there because the other side it has to to go down so i'll simply you know make sure that i snap it okay i can drag that one at the bottom it's snapping there by the cover on the opening i'll click there if i want i can mirror it or I, even here i can still go ahead and pick two points from that point up to that point make sure that you are you are snapping on the cover there as you can see so we have the last two okay so i can still go ahead and pick the slab there then river and i want to pick that is vertical then 
I just want to pick it from here or maybe from the cover by the corner there. I'll pick that point and I'll drag it all the way there because I know again this one is less than 12 meters so I'll drag it up to maybe up to it will need to intersect then I just remove I just need to remove the last ribber then select right that ribber set and just uncheck that one to remove the last bar okay right so i'll select on that one click right click and create similar and i just want to pick once again that point and also take it on the other side i'll need to remove the last bar so that there is no overlap so select on that and select there you see that it's going to you know to remove the last bar okay so that is okay i'm done with this and you see that if i go to the section i have the bars now with this method you have to control the you can see the intersection the first bar will be okay the second bar is also snapping to the cover so you just need to make a small adjustment here so that the bars are not intersecting i'll select the section just drag it up to here and extend the extents there so i'll go to that section what i'm going to do is to select the this bar i want it to drop it down there i'll simply select the ribbon that i want to you know to be not to intersect like that so what i'll do i'll just use the selection by just dragging up like that then i'll also just hold the control and again just i'm just using a window selection to select the ribbon in between there as you can see i'll just do it also here i'm holding the left mouse as you can see that is a box just like that then i'll go to filter then check none structure ribber apply okay so as you can see that is the ribber which has been selected then i'll go to edit constraints okay under the edit constraints you see that we have that number zero zero i want this one to be negative 16 click outside you see that it drops by that margin then click on finish and you see that it's now we have now dropped there is no collision as you can see from there okay so if i go back to that level i have it there go to the section it's okay if i want now to mirror the ribber i can even do that let me simply select everything here then filter check none structure ribber apply okay i've selected all the ribbers on top there and i'll simply mirror it from there dm on your keyboard then click that point and another point outside there you see that you are going to mirror it it's going to respect the cover as you can see okay so ladies and gentlemen this is how you are going to reinforce you know your slab using the two points as you can see the slab is reinforced once again if you want to know how to detail this slab make sure that you check you know this video on the card above it's where i explained on how you can do the detailing